Hello there, and welcome back to Winter Art. And after the Black Clover Blunder, I am kind of glad about talking about Doctor Stone. And this time, I am gonna name the characters because yeah, I pulled up the Black Clover. I mean, Doctor Stone character list. Yes, and the one plus name is again Asgiri. You figure it's pretty easy to remember, but uh, I forgot. Got and yeah, I can't just get a pronunciation for them until the anime shows up. And again, is basically again, but how do you still pronounce Francois, Frank, Francios, Fran? How the hell do you do that? And somebody needs to try it in the comments. So, all right, last time I was kind of like iffy on whether Zeno should have been revived or not, and yeah, I still am. But looks like he can be trusted for the time being, in because they kind of have to. Work. All right, the cover is pretty awesome. It's sweet wearing a badass armor, but having a badass sword, and it's like super alloy. Like that's kind of negative for the chapter because they make super alloy in this one to make the spaceship. This ship. I have to say she is looking rather good. Good in it. it or she drawn rather good. Okay, so begin the chapter with. All right. If you are like, reading panel by panel, and I'll, I don't know if that's if that's an option somewhere, but if you are. You didn't like all well, right. That's what that was a big mistake. Zeno should not have to. I, I, like the first panel of the first page, it is essentially Zeno smiling like a damn villain. Villain, and then you scroll a little down, like oh, Doctor Zeno acquired. Did you have to put that image up there? If you could have had something else, but I'm not complaining about it. It looks good, good, and kind of kind of fits with the character also, but. Give me bad vibes because like oh crap, <laughs> this screwed, dude. Like you take a first look at this and like just start with the trust chapter because like oh crap, this screwed up. And yeah, then you read the next one and like all right, everyone's questioning essentially. Can he be trusted? Trusted and um, so we got a scene with. Uh, Gindro and Moz. Yeah, the character that I introduced like in the middle of the series. <laughs> He's, I told that in Black Clover that I glossed, glossed over a lot of stuff. Uh, and like, did that in Black Clover. Kind of mistake. Like, but I don't really remember my many characters. Wait, is it, is it Moz or Matsukaze that hangs around with Gindro? I'm guessing it was Matsukaze. Moose was the guy who was with Chrome, right? It interested in his fighting style, and Kirisame was the one responsible for throwing the petrification device. Yeah, it's a uh, Ma Matsukaze. Matsukaze. Okay, who was? Uh, yeah, it's Matsukaze. As in, Ginro is questioning, like, is this okay? Um, is it really possible to? Cooperate with Zeno and others. Reason, even they're like they would be doubtful. Well, after being killed like how many times? It's at least not accurate counting. Just off the top of my head, around two times. That's the that's the at least least I can think of at the moment. Meant might be more. But not complaining. But it's legitimately fine to ask a question like this has happened before because as he has betrayed them and won't be the first time and literally I won't even be surprised by this time. I'm like alright. I was expecting it kind of. I was waiting for it, so it happened. Fine. <laughs> and even now I'm like Phew. 89% sure he's gonna betray them at some point and but I'm gonna hold on to that one like okay he might not not because Stanley is still petrified if if Stanley is freed then the chances are like 99 percent sure he's gonna betray them but he's petrified the chances are low he's not an idiot 
and well I found like some condescending kind of like an argument because he already was us <laughs> and I have a legitimate question like why the hell do you want to kill them and again like Okay, I'm working with this kid whom I worked with before. Or he's a pretty cool dude. I know him. He's intelligent and is helping me out figuring out this entire mystery. But I'm still gonna get him. I don't get it, but maybe because like, for it, something he wants to rule the world, so Sen goes in his way. Hey, I'm trying to say like, but okay, why is Stanley helping him? You have a lot of questions. I have a lot of questions for Zeno, you know. But I'll say he's an interesting character. <laughs> It's not like well, some people think Noel's an interesting character. So I'll stop. I'll stop. This is literally the first page, first two minutes, and it's already like six minutes in the video, video. And uh, again, again questions like. By the way, Zin Chen, uh, what the hell is this special machine? I mean, because they're making a rocket. Like, Gen would be like aware of machinery and stuff, but you look at this damn thing. Even I'm like, uh, is like poison gas created or contained, or is it used for something like that? And um, I don't know that much about machines in the stuff, like especially not about like machines used in rocket building. I think so. Yeah, it's like um, the people here react to the effort normally, and then he Zeno is like it's it's just for cooling air, air it's an air conditioner, and grow no um Taiju just like you it's a cooler there, and then it's like no to extract argon from the atmosphere. Okay, so you need to cool the air down to. Extract argon. I'll just roll with that because I'm not gonna bother confirming it in my science book, which I'm kind of sure has not mentioned, and but probably somewhere as I don't know. No, and Kohaku is basically like she didn't even finish. Like okay, argon. She just passed out at R <laughs> and passed out. Like you know the guy and. Sweeka is like since Sweeka started with science, she wants to know how it all works. Works and Zeno explains it. Um, even I don't get it, but <laughs> alright, that's kind of the way. That's kind of probably the reason why most people like a doctor stone. There's no way hey, we can actually go and confirm this stuff. Uh, and we can Google it, but who else gonna bother? But then let's just read it. It has a very interesting good story, and yeah, kind of interesting and stuff like. You can legitimately like see this happening. Like, like, all right, you can see them as there's the bunch of characters. You can relate to any one of them. Majority of the people are the ones, and from like, all right, mostly you can like, Ginro. Come on, man. All the readers basically are Ginro. If you're not a scientist, then you are Ginro. Ginro in the story, and if you're a girl, then you are Kohaku. Um, I would have said Sweeta, but clearly not. But um, she's a science student. All right, classifications: scientist, Zeno and Senko, um, like me, who have no clue about complex science, and Ginro, girls like me who have no freaking clue about science and major science. Like this is Kohaku, who um, female science student Sweeta, and. Let's see. For male science student, I guess not. Then it's kind of fair. Yeah, to say female science students for this week, ah, uh, um, let's see. Someone else. Someone else. Someone else. Someone else. All right. There is not a female scientist. Let's see the damn story. Be up till now. But uh, all right. Science first guess week, and like if you are serious about this, then Chrome. You can relate to them. I'm pretty damn well because you have the same reaction as someone does it, and I'm not up like, what the hell is this? How does this work? Well, I can't read this stuff, but like, all right, I'm gonna stop. Up and he explains like, 
Um, put a ponytail on the argon gas filled in the glass tube. Uh, okay, so you put a wire around a glass tube containing argon gas. Okay, and so it was like there is no electricity in the air. Suika at least remembers this much, and <laughs> that Zeno is basically like <laughs> Dr. Suika. What an elegant lesson! But rather than explaining it, it would be efficient just to show it in person. And uh, Ginro, that's the that dude. No, Gen, 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 Gen. Yeah, Gen. Yeah, with similar names. Like I can't keep track of every single character. <laughs> I probably have to make the character description video to remember the thing. And but he's like efficiency. That's what Sanko Chan and Zeno Chan are all about. Uh, scientists are always like that. Like that. And then we have a scene with the uh, okay. Um Chelsea. Chelsea 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 Childe. Childe 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 Okay. Um, Chelsea Shield. Chelsea Shield. Chelsea. Chelsea. Or right, Chelsea. Um, it's Chelsea. It's spelled something else, but I'm gonna call it Chelsea because I don't know how to pronounce her name at all. And, and she's like, they were here to find some metals, so, and she's a geographer, so she knows everything about this. Isn't she points tied you at location like the deposit should be around here? Here, Chrome is with his metal detector. I am assuming that's what it is. Is and then Zeno is like, is it, Do we have any? No, not at this moment. Oh, yeah, we do. It's a um, gauger counter. I do not know if it's a legitimate name in our era or something that they just came up with. It because the data came with it because like I don't know if it makes sense. And so um let's see. It means a pulse current passed through the gas. Okay, so it beeped. Um it's a sensor <laughs> through the gas. It's because the death metals deposit contain radioactive elements too. And again, it's freaking out like radioactive. Wait, wait, do you mean this is is um okay? Gen knows. I think it's Gen who says it's a gauger counter. I have no freaking clue what the thing is. His and then you have seen with Luna. <laughs> I remember her name now. Oh, and so like it seems scary. And then we have a scene. With Ukyo. Alright, in season 2, he was my second favorite character Ter um, in Stone Wars only because <laughs> rankings kind of changed. In st I'd say the start, he was like, alright, season begins. Ukyo shows stuff, kind of nice dude. Alright, I'll go with him. Then, now I'm questioning why do I hate Noel? Not exactly hate, but alright, he's a pacifist through and through. That's what he does, but he has other uses. He's this is not a siege that revolves around fighting. Eating. So yeah, it's kinda useful even if he doesn't fight. That's why I kinda like her and it's like his, his ideals and stuff. So Ukiyo is in the second in favorite. By the end it got this two being my favorite. Favorite and Ukiyo kinda dropped. And the next track it was like, all right, it, it's Zuka now, yoga, yoga, and then it's Ukyo. Kyo. Senku is, it's probably, the, Chrome is probably the next one. And because like, all right, if I'm sticking around with Senku, I'd either end up like Chrome or like Taiju. Taiju. I'd prefer ending up like Chrome because, like, all right, I'll, I'll go with it. With it. It and then there is uh, um, Max. Max was like, Zeno science is kind of dark. It, that's the whole theme of the chapter. After and Zeno's like, 
It is another finding that was used in mineral deposits in the 21st century. Even a middle school student can make it with a gas uh, of a lighter or something. Alright, a lighter gas. I think you can find it. Right? So, is all you need to do is like run a current through it? Wait, because that's what it looks like. I'm not gonna try it because I don't wanna die. Hey, because like I'm not in a lab. You guys might try it if you're not living in India. <laughs> India because the Indian schools don't tell really do this stuff. So whatever. <laughs> they become mining and they find ilmenite, molybdenite, and chromium, pyrochloride and nickel. Except nickel, I don't know any of these names. I kind of know chromium, I have heard it somewhere, the, the rest of them are like, alright, what, what are these things? <laughs> things? And from the looks of it, there are these like huge traits. It's because they see Gen over there and like standing on one of them. And they are apparently pretty big. Okay, so we got good chunks of it. Huh? And he's surprised. He's <laughs> and then he's like, wait, uh, what is all this mysterious source of heat from mining? <laughs> Same reaction as mine. We <laughs> get Sans in love with Senko and Zeno. It's like, it's a rare metal trader that's essential for a real spaceship. It, and well done, mining team. And Zeno is like, really elegant. It's called the Holy Land of Stones. I don't know if this place actually exists. I'll have to check that. I'll tell this in the next chapter review whenever it comes out. Oh, if this place actually exists or not. They both have like the arts in their eyes. Is like, alright, they're into stones. And so, and then was like, the ore we need is. Then then was like, yeah, let's put up. Perseus is back! Alright, the ship's back. Alright, Orman Kaseki. Like, oh my cute princesses. I'm sorry I kept you waiting for seven years. Yes, and Grom's freaking out like bad. It's in real bad, and it's red as hell. And Gens like it must have already been completely rusted. It's made out of iron. Like it's not a pirate ship. Like just thousand sunny. Like it's a real legitimate ship. If if and then Zeno's like <laughs> if Chef unattended, it it would have lost its drainage function and sank immediately. If left unattended. Okay, I don't exactly get it, but um, whatever. <laughs> and then Holman Kaseki gets all fired up. I would definitely bring you back to life. <laughs> and you guys just love those scenes. Like, they're comedy and like, Holman Kaseki is useful. Well, and like, is more or less a comedy tricky comedy in fact. Many times. He's like, he's getting all fired up. Like, alright, I'll bring you back to life. If and the rest of them just dismantle the entire thing. And then he's like, Wait, what are you all doing? And then he gets all fizzled up. up like, uh, and then. Oh. Oh. Ryusui. He, he, I'm waiting for this animal so that I can get some, some damn pronunciations for them. Um, even that wouldn't help because there would be Japanese pronunciation, so I need the English to happen thus as, as soon as possible. Well, um, I think he'll be introduced in the first or second episode. Probably first, but maybe by the time in the second episode he will be introduced. So, yeah, season 3 is coming soon, well, probably. And then Chelsea is basically. The iron isn't available much in South America. So I don't know if it's accurate, but probably is. Yes, and then Senko is basically like, we are giving a ridiculous power up and converting it into a new Perseus. Perseus. It's Perseus. Yes. Alright, I thought they were gonna name the rocket Senku, but it's probably gonna be like Perseus Senku. Doesn't make sense, but alright, they're gonna name something. And then Old Man Kaseki 
he gets all fired up and you know that's the thing where his somehow his clothes always rip off and then again it's like Sankuchan is getting used to it about how to handle grams Kaseki Kaseki and then it's like metal plus metal a new material that has been integrated into science and, and that's super alive like, and, like it's just this small line but this page just makes it like awesome um, this is like this huge giant mech like with like DR written on it like doctor or maybe and like it's this super cool mech I can't wait for it in the anime it will show up I think this is the first time like there has been a like, major symbolism in the upper stone stone like something like this like come on when and and um, Isla Martin Garcia, uh, I think it's the place. So they have built their by factories. They're smoking a lot. They're emitting a lot of smoke. Not healthy. Like Senko, you should do something for that. Like come on, environment's pretty good at this era. So don't ruin it. Right? And then we got some stuff with like they're working in the. This is chapter as a lot of comedy. Yeah, that's so excited I don't know. And so they have a scene with Cat Kohaku breaking some metal. Hell and then someone says like add the crushed chromium over to the iron. <laughs> and then she's like, I don't know put chrome inside it. Hit it and like I like the other same. Oh wait. Chrome as in Google Chrome light. I just got that stuff. Yeah. I knew that. That and then Dr. Zeno explains to Rome if you join different individuality together, you get stronger. It also applies to science. Yeah, with Rome's powder added, it, um, you can make stainless steel. So you add chromium in the recipe for steel or I don't get it because like it's iron you need iron this is I know that and you need chromium but I, I completely forgot about this stuff that's from my science class class so that's the three just he <laughs> doesn't bring back my memory memory and and then Kohaku is surprised like oh that's super alloy if the still is steel steel and then so guys like what can we make with it? Then and Senko has a sinister smile like, okay, with this stainless steel, finally. And um, everyone's like, finally, we can make canned food. It's soft. Uh, <laughs> okay. I didn't knew that cans use stainless steel. I should have figured it out earlier. Earlier, but... This is my science class essentially done is, is so he makes knives and cans and fran Francios I guess this starts cooking up up sukas and yoga bringing stuff she cooks up and like they prepare canned food. Zeno is like it's a world where you can mine super class rare ores for free. Mixing tantal, um, tantalum and zirconium, I'll be able to make a very elegant and it will be able to make it very elegant can which won't rot in 3700 years. And Senku is like, yes, if it were the old world, then it would have cost about a million yen for the. What the hell? Hell, a million yet and for damn can and that's insane and, and the, here they are making it for them free he all right it and everyone like other than and Kun's even like what but like all right but that doesn't really make doesn't make any sense like all right the can won't the can won't rot the food <laughs> that's what i mean 
Leave was table. What, what that's even the point of having the canned food then? You can use it in other stuff, I guess. So, not, not entirely useless, but I don't really know about, much about this stuff. And then Goha was like, I see, with the super hell of stainless steel, there will be enough food and we can finally revive people all over the world. And Krohn's like, nah, nah, that, maybe, that, maybe that's the case too, but it's probably a rocket or ship stuff. <laughs> Even he knows Senko by this point, so they make some more revival fluid, bring back some more, more people. Mm, I think that they travel back to South America because, like, they are like with um, Nikki, yeah, Nikki Honda, and we see her statue. No, uh, wait, it's not Nikki. Yeah, these two both look so similar. And it's almost confusing. Using the other. Is it? It's Maya. Yeah, Maya Briggs. I think she was still there. Yeah, I think she came with Stanley. He are. They're using the phone. It's confusing a bit. I will have to check it up uh, on what's the details on like. I'm guessing she came with them. Um, and like they're just, just revived now. Oh, probably not gonna revive Stanley still now. Oh, um, and then he brings them up to speed like to build a spaceship for the moon trip. Yep, Sink was like, and then cut again. There's a ridiculous amount of material that we lack that are scattered all over the world. And, uh, and this kind of is a hard job. Hub, um, reduce you. Uh, uh, Ryu means dragon sui. Ryu sui. Yeah, we should build a new ship as soon as possible. We need to collect them from all over the world. And Zeno is like, we'll share the responsibility. If Zeno will make the rocket engine and Senku will make the new. Perseus. Yes, makes sense. Means why they spill it up. I feel like they can't just hold the scientists in the same place. That's the reasoning. Reasoning and then like the stainless steel that we made in the first place is level one. A million yen can is level one. And I don't think exactly know how much it's rupees and dollars. Here it is the fact all right, I have, to, I have to translate this. Here is the cost of dollars and here is the rupees. He's, he's converted into your own individual currencies. He's, I am sure it's an insane amount. But, alright. Probably not that much because like... Alright, it's probably not that much. A million yen is an insane amount. Probably in Japan, probably not that insane because it's like... Like, 1800 is like a ticket cost over there if a damn movie or was it just a device and I don't freaking know but I'm guessing it's if you convert it it's not that much I guess and it's still a lot but probably not that heck of a great number like it's in millions but something something along those lines and um wait I didn't gotta do that I didn't gotta do that like wait a sec like um I saw it in this video um and if it's not, I'm guessing it's accurate, but um, accurate. And he did convert like Chopper's bounty day into dollars, which came out like around so around 100 berries is around 90 cents. So 90 cents. So, I think that we will. We will. Um, here's its value. Actually, so he just stops from that kind of be like that's store that stuff up, up man. And and then he's like, for the spacecraft to get get to Biman on the moon, we need a better super alloy. All right, on first look, this machine looks like a damn skull, but um, Grom's like, what is this? It smells crazy. Easy and then Dino's like, 
to put it simply it's a super level, level up facility it turns nickel into gas and separate it you know separate it? I don't, I don't know if I can get science it's behind it but it looks awesome that's what matters matters and then Zeno is like and a deadly poison comes out of it, of it. Even a gas mask won't work against it. It it's absorbed through the skin, and the and the persona dies instantly, immediate death. It, and then it's like level one stainless steel was made first to prevent it from leaking out. And Gans like it's too dangerous. And in order to mine the ores in future and proceed with. The scientific roadmap. Negative aspects like poisons are inevitable. Till then, we get a scene with like creepy city, the Zeno, Zeno looking creepy. The and then like there will be people who will condemn it. I will take it all for you. As a so-called dark scientist, scientist, you can ignore all the low-level disturbances and freely proceed with science. Senko is the scientist of light. He can lead everyone into the future. They are truly elegant indeed. Their role is in the right place. I told you guys. Like, the characters in this are like awesome. Some, um, and Alright. I changed my mind on Zeno you know, you know, too. Well, you know, I might even change my mind on Noel. Well, Probably not, but alright. Zeno convinced me a long time ago that he was not totally a bad guy. Uh, but alright, uh, he's written with the good guys now. Oh, he's not a villain anymore. Kind of Doctor Stone's thing. And like, you have a villain in this arc, in the next arc, or in the same arc, there we are allies. Less. Spoiler alert, this is what happens in the entire story essentially. Essentially, up to this point. And like, who are the major events that have to face against? Major ones. And Tsukasa. <laughs> came down science. Same arc, Yoga in like the pet the Treasure Island arc, even he became an ally. In Treasure Island arc you had uh, Moz and Kirisame, both are allies now. There's now Lunar Right, Carlos, Prarius, Max Adams, and all started out as enemies are allies now. Homura Momuji, he is an ally. It, um, the rest of them were allies from the start. From the start, mm, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's kind of thing. And even Zeno, no. Oh. oh, and then Chrome has a moment. Different guys are coming together and making us stronger. Oh, and <laughs> now they're mining. Meaning, Chrome's. Title is getting along pretty good. Well, with uh, mm, Maya, what's her name? Name, uh, yeah, Maya. Maya. And then Kohaku is like, huh, uh, every human being on earth have finally come together as one. Wait, did they revive everyone? Well, probably not. Like, they, 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 there is a lot of people in this panel, but I'm. I'm assuming it's not the entire planet. And it we'll have to wait for the next one. I'm kind of doubtful on this one because like, it's a lot of people. People um, yeah, that's given like they're all partying and stuff. Being and stuff. So probably the locals like around that island which on which there are are they're probably Americans but um, now we're working with them. Um, and then get the last final super adversity acquired. And, and then Zeno and Senko who kind of hard to tell who was talking but let's face fantasy with science dark scientist is plus light scientist makes grey scientist it is um, that probably is chrome but alright chrome's light scientist is um, love this one actually it's way better than black lower over this week, week but it's all right awesome chapter. After country I'm looking for the next one, more or less I want you. Okay, how many did they revive? I because kinda like okay. Damn. 
And because if they revive these many people, like how many there are? Like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. In, in around 20 people. In people, so they are right, 20 days, not, not that lock of time. I'm considering it's Dr. Stone, but let them, I'm pretty confused with this. Right, how many did they revive? I just want that number. But so, 21 out of 200, sure. Uh, well, that's man's sum of itself. Well, chapter 200. Not seems don't get to that. So that's, so that's pretty awesome. Like, I'm not getting it at 78, I guess. Guess so. It did it at 78. I'm not sure because that's as far as I saw it. Oh, it. Um, I'll have to check that. Like that. Um, Alright, bye. Uh, that's the end of this video. I'm checking this. Yes, no. Like, alright, what the hell? Which chapter did I not? And, um, seriously, I'm. The other way, kind of sucked. Like, like, okay, let's just see where it ended. Uh, 78. Yeah, so. Yeah, I was right about that. Alright, that's it for this video. I'm about to go to Madeira and then I did this. So, bye.